Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Chris. Welcome to Linux Tech Geek. So in today's video, I want to talk about some Rust applications that you can install that will replace some of your GNU slash Linux applications. Now, most of these applications that I'm going to be talking about today, I actually have them installed here on my system. And I find that I just use these applications more than I use the original GNU uh, core utils type of applications all right so let's go ahead and flip over to the desktop and i'll show you guys what i'm talking about all right so the first application that i want to talk about is exa now what is exa well if you guys have watched any of my videos or dt's videos or any of that you've seen exa exa is a ls replacement application okay so whenever i type in ls that's exa right there okay so i don't use the original um ls command i just use exa number one because you can do a lot more you can do a lot of cooler things with exa like you can have these icons right here um and i find i just like this format i like how i can do a bunch of different stuff so if we can do, if we do exa and help well I can't do that. Um, I don't have cargo in my uh, my path here. That's why I'm, that's why it's griping at me. So let's do exa, um, and then I'll do let's do help. So you can see right here everything that you can do with exa. So uh, you can do a, a tree format. You can do all. You can have. Uh, group directories first and that's kind of what I did with my exa so so if I do a cat um, let's do config fish so you can see right here I alias my ls command and it is actually exa lh and then I always have color and then I have group directories first and I like to display icons Okay, so that's all EXA is, is just a LS uh, replacement. The next command that I want to show you guys is RIP GRIP. Now, what is RIP GRIP or RG? Well, it's GRIP, but it's a better GRIP, okay? And I use this command all the time. We've all used, we've all probably had to use the grip command sometime in our Linux journey. Um, but I just find that rip grip is a lot faster and uh, it has a ton of options. So if I do RG help, you can see that there is just a ton of options that you can do. Not only that, but the way that it displays stuff is super cool. So we can do RG um, and I'll do home. And I've already typed in this command right here, but watch what happens. Not only does it give me what line in this file that whatever I'm searching for. So you can see I'm searching for home and it appears in line four right here. And it also appears in line seven right here and right here. So you can... But what's cool about it is that, like, it's color-coordinated, you know, um, and I, I just find that I use this a lot more than I just use the regular uh, grip command. The next command I want to talk about is FD. Now, what is FD? FD is a replacement for find, right? We've all used, a, we've all probably had to use the find command. Uh, Define command sometime and FD is just a lot better again. So we can do FD help. You can also see we have a lot of stuff that we can do. I wonder if this will work the same way. Config fish. Search path blah 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 is not a directory. We got to search for a directory. Uh, there we go. So, I just searched for my name pretty much with FD and I searched for it in the root directory. And you can see we have 
a uh, fairly large directory, right? And we also have, of course, my home directory. Um, so that's what FD is. It's just a find command replacement. Uh, nothing fancy, but there are a ton of different options. I just don't know. I don't know every single option, and I don't use I don't use these commands that often. Um, but when I do, I just try and use the Rust replacement for these applications. The next command I want to talk about is prox. Now, what is prox? Well, prox is a PS replacement. All right. So PS, what's PS? Well, if we type in PS, it will show us the process and the process ID of certain stuff, right? So uh, let's see if we can search for PS. No, we cannot. We cannot search for alacrity. I wonder if we could do that with prox, though. So if I do PS... Okay, so you see I'm in the fish, um, we get the fish PID and everything like that. But what if we do prox, um, oh, there it is. Prox displays everything. Right? What else, well, what's also cool about prox is I think I can search for different stuff as well. So prox, yeah, so we can. So right here, we can search for prox alacrity. It'll tell us the PID number, which is the process ID number. Tell us the user. And you can see how it just displays all this information to us. Very concise, right? It's, it's pretty. <laughs> uh, there's no other way I can say, uh, say it. it. It's the way that it's displayed. It makes sense and it's easy to read. All right. So we could do prox, um, I think I have Emacs running. Boom. Emacs Damien right here. So you can see how much CPU time is taken, how much memory, how much CPU, process ID, the user, the command. Right? That's what prox is. Nothing fancy, but it's pretty cool because you can actually search. Right? Now, there's a couple of different applications that we can use as well. One of those applications is we've all used HTOP, right? We've all used HTOP. HTOP is a, you know, it's a system monitor to look at your processes and stuff like that, right? Well, there's another application like this that's a little bit better in my opinion. It's called Bottom. Uh, and the way we fire it up is BTM. Boom. So... We can see all of this information displayed pretty nice, right? And we can even change like CPUs over here, see what core is using what. We get a nice pretty graph of, of stuff. Um, we can also see our network graph right here, right? We can see all of our disk, the temperatures of all of our stuff, um, as well as what all processes is going. And I'm pretty sure you can change this any way you want to. I, I don't really change it, but um, you could do that. Uh, let's look at the man page real fast. Uh, okay, bottom help. Oh, so we do have, there is a help. There's not a man page for it. But you can, uh, yeah, you can do all kinds of stuff. Um, so we can do... Bottom slash, uh, what was it? B for basic. Oh, so this is bottom. That's basic, right? And you can see that <laughs> this looks pretty much dead up like HTOP, <laughs> right? Um, so it's just kind of cool um, that you can look at different uh, stuff that's running on your computer. Uh, the next application I think I want to talk about is... Now I don't have this one running, unfortunately. Starship. We've all seen we've all seen the Starship prompt. Okay, I'm not running Starship right now. Typically I do, um, but I don't have it installed right now. All it is is a prompt that you can. Um, I'll throw something up here on the top of the screen about it, um, but it's just a prompt that you can customize and do all that fun stuff. Okay, the Next application I want to talk about is Alacrity. Alright, so I'm not running Kitty. I am running Alacrity, right? 
guess what? Alacrity is written in Rust. Uh, surprise, surprise. All right. Um, and we've all, we all know about Alacrity. 90, I would say probably about 80% of us probably use Alacrity um, or Kitty. Uh, I'm not sure if Kitty is actually written in Rust, but Alacrity 100% is. And uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it's fantastic. It has a um, great documentation, great website. And the configuration file, even though they recently switched it over from a YAML file to a TOML, um, it's still pretty easy to uh, pretty easy to to learn and everything like that. I'm trying to think. Uh, one more application that I have on my list over here um, is a file manager. Now we've all used those different console file managers like there's nnn there's midnight commander there's all kinds of different stuff but one that i actually uh been using and i kind of like is something called yazi y-a-z-i right yazi or uh, i really need to put that cargo um <clears throat> uh the path in my uh my fish file won't have to deal with this um but yazi pretty much we've all seen yazi um you can kind of go back oh that is cool i did not know that huh so yazi i guess yazi has a fuzzy finder type of stuff i'm gonna have to mess with yazi a little bit more i did not know about that so if i hit z check this out that's fuzzy finder right there uh, so we can do cargo bin, and it takes me back. Z, uh, home, Chris. <laughs> Pretty cool. I mean, it's just a file manager, but you can customize it. You can do all kinds of different stuff. You can do pretty much everything that you could with nnn or midnight commander one of those applications so those are some rust applications that you can install that will replace some of the gnu slash linux applications some of the core util applications uh, some notable mentions though is left wm now i didn't show you guys anything on left wm but left wm is written in rust and it's a pretty decent window manager um what they're kind of aiming for on that window manager is a little weird, um, but I've, I've had it configured before. I got videos on it. Um, it is pretty decent. And another application, I don't know if it's being developed anymore, um, is LSD. Now, I, I showed you guys EXA. Well, LSD, um, it, it still runs and it still works and everything. Pretty much, it's EXA right um it's just a different way to uh to, to use the command instead of running exa you would run lsd um but those two mentions i did want to mention those if you guys have any questions comments or suggestions please leave them down below and i'll get back to you guys sorry about the lack of content uh, i've been extremely busy but um hopefully um, i should be able to get a video out at least once a week and um um we may like i may start scheduling going live um maybe twice a month or something just so i can catch up with you guys all right but until next time i want you guys to take care be safe and peace bye guys